welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Dina Gohill and I'm based in London, UK. Now, today's debunking of the myth is, I hear a lot of people asking me about, I wear flat shoes, it's got to be better than heels, right? You're gonna find out more about this today. So if you haven't already, come join my family. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'm gonna get to the main question just now. I get a lot of patients coming in who have um, sort of upper foot, forefoot as we call it, pathologies and therefore some things that you may have heard of or you may not have heard of before like bunions or tailor's bunions or some of the toes kind of gripping, clawing or hammer toes. Now they all come in and go, but I wear flat shoes all the time, surely that's going to be better than wearing heels. Sadly not guys, so this is another debunking myth. So wearing complete flat shoes like this compared to wearing a really high shoe like this, actually just as bad as each other. So why is that? Why is a flat shoe that's supposed to be great just as bad? I'm gonna talk you through this. So now let's look at this photo that we're gonna see. So in this photo, you see this really nice, pretty ballerina flat. Now looking at the ballerina flat, it looks quite innocent, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Actually, it's not. Why? Because in a ballerina shoe, it is completely flat, meaning you have no support on the entire foot. There is no structure to the shoe. And the upper part of the hair, which you now see highlighted, is called the toe box. Did you know that's what you called the upper part of the shoe? No, neither did I until I became a podiatrist. This area is quite important too. If your toes are squeezed and they don't have any movement in them, your big joints have to do a lot of work when walking and therefore it could tire the feet out a lot more and put a lot more pressure underneath that big joint, which can make it worse. And now that you see that in the ballerina, you can see how it's not as great because if you were to wear a high heel, you'd be putting just as much of big pressure on that big joint, which makes your feet feel uncomfortable, painful at the end of the day, and you'll still get that discomfort. So if you've ever worn a heel and a flat shoe and you go, oh, my feet still hurt. That's why guys, because you're not having any structure or support. So yeah, another one debunked. Flat shoes need structure. If you were to wear a flat shoe with just a little bit of a heel, more structure in the midfoot, a nice deep enough toe box, your feet will feel so much happier at the end of the day. Just to give you an example, have a look at this shoe. Or maybe this shoe. Or this one. That's just some of the favorites. But I'm sure you have some wonderful shoes at home too. So if you do have one of those ballerinas you left or just keep say thinking they're gonna be your comfy ones, probably best to find some new ones. Now, I won't tell anyone if you want, but when I was much younger, I wasn't aware of this fact. So I would have some ballerinas at home and I used to wear them much in my younger days, kind of thinking these are fashionable, these are cool, I can wear them for school. And my mother, sorry mom, she <laughs> has bunions, which means that I'm more predisposed to getting a bunion myself. And because I was wearing shoes that were putting more pressure on my big joint, I do too have a very mild prominence on my foot, which means I was doing the wrong thing and that just progressed it. The shoe did not cause the pathology, it progressed it. So guys, speaking from experience myself, all human, get a nice well-structured shoe and debunk the myth of the flat shoes being good. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, tag away and I'll get back to you pretty soon. Thanks.